and a half million dollar lawsuit is shutting down his tobacco farm. Melvin Daniels claims herbicide sprayed in July 2017 by contractors for an electric company killed his crop. That farmer fears he may be forced to sell his land without coming up with another way to make money. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger first reported the story a year and a half ago, and he spoke with Daniels once again today. Mark. Robin and John, Melvin Daniels owns more than 2,500 acres in Claiborne County. Usually this time of year, he and his employees would be readying the crop for next season. Instead, the farm sits quiet and the crops lay dead. Tobacco's done. We're, we're finished with it. For more than 230 years, Melvin Daniels' family farmed tobacco on the rolling hills of Claiborne County. My family's been here since the Revolutionary War. We've always grown tobacco. Now the family business seems to have come to an end. It's the end. It's just like if somebody come along and just say, I want your house and just take it. Take a drive through his property and you'll see the difference a year and a half can make. Fields once filled with crops now lay barren and empty. This 14 acre field used to be filled with rows and rows of tobacco. It's one of about 10 fields that Melvin Daniel says was sprayed. Now it's nothing more than dirt and dead plants. The stalks are still here. Nothing was harvested. Daniel says in July of 2017, the Powell Valley Electric Cooperative hired a company called U.S. Applicators to spray herbicide under their power lines. Daniel says the chemicals drifted onto his tobacco and contaminated much of his crop. Powell Valley Electric declined to provide a comment for today's story. In 2017, the contractor hired to do the spraying showed us where the chemicals are used. Our job is to stay in the center of this line right here above us. We're to apply 20 feet to either side. For the first time in more than two centuries, the Daniels family isn't growing tobacco in Claiborne County. Instead, they're doing anything they can to avoid selling the farm. We're cutting timber now, trying to pay the bills. Dan Daniels filed a $2.5 million lawsuit against U.S. applicators and Powell Valley Electric. There is still no date for when the lawsuit will be heard in court in Claiborne County. Robin and John. Mark Salinger on the follow. Thank you. Tonight, a 